As you begin this week, I ask you to put on God's courage. It is a gift. And as you put on God's courage, you can move forward in the way that you're guided by God to do. Here is an affirmation that I use. I take courage. I begin again. I take courage. I begin again. There are tales that you have heard and I've heard about heroes, real heroes in life. There are accounts of brave deeds. There are songs. There are plays that stir and thrill us with courage and strength of the human race. All of us are faced with times and circumstances that tempt us to give in and to give up. But we have inside of us that is God-given a great capacity for meeting life in a fearless way and a victorious way, an ability to begin again. God is a God of second chances. People meet and they overcome all kinds of circumstances and conditions. They overcome sickness. They overcome bereavement. They overcome failure. They overcome lack and limitation. Everyone who chooses to meet the challenges of life rather than to be downed by them inspires and encourages not only themselves, but also others around them. And others are always watching you. To anyone who needs strength and courage, to anyone who wants to begin again, and in every life there are times when we must begin again, we say this, Praise God. I am strong enough, I am wise enough, able enough to begin again. I am loved enough, appreciated enough, understood enough to begin again. I begin again now to be what I was meant to be, God's perfect child. It is never too late to make a new beginning, my friend. I take courage and I begin again. Say that with me. I take courage and I begin again.